Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about my weekly episode, so my weekly update of the journey of a serial entrepreneur. Uh, before we get into it, it's a lovely Monday morning, again, fortunately with the weather, it's going to be hot today, but it's uh, just approaching 10 o'clock in the morning, so it's not too hot yet. Nice breeze, so it's a uh, nice running conditions, nice and fresh start to the week. Um, before I start, just my very brief injury update. For those of you who have been listening to my episode tonight, I tore my calf uh, a week ago today. And um, my plan was to be back within two weeks. I was going to run through the injury. Um, sounds pretty suicidal from an injury perspective, but um, I've taught this is my fifth calf test since December last year. And uh, I know what it feels like. I know roughly what the recovery time is, and I know roughly what the severity of the tear was. Now, um, this is only a relatively minor one. And uh, having run through it, I was started running back again at about eight minute K pace. I'm now kind of a week in and I'm running about six and a half minute K pace. So the pace is coming back, but I'm conscious not going above six and a half K pace today because um, I've already tried to go too quickly and it just reoccurs again. And it's the recurring case of it keep going, which is what pushes you back further and further. So I'm quite, it feels as, bad, as good as it has done for a long time today. I can't really feel it. I feel that's the, the dangerous part is I could open up a lot more, but um, I'm not going to, pure and simply, because uh, I'm pretty sure it will go again. So I'm going to give it at least, uh, you know, until after the weekend coming before I, uh, so another week maybe, but I'm taking it easier before I start stretching out a little bit. A little bit. I might stretch the distance out, but at a slower pace come the weekend, but we'll see. So that's my update. Uh, learning experiences, don't push yourself too quickly. Really important if you are going to run through an injury to keep it stretched and to keep the blood flow and the oxygen going, I think it can aid recovery, but it's a very, very fine line between pushing yourself too hard and not. Stay hydrated, so drink plenty of fluids to obviously keep your muscles hydrated. And uh, somebody recommended to me a while back about possibly taking some uh, a slight um, salt based element to the water intake just so that your muscles can retain fluids more effectively so so i haven't tested but something that that this here this guy swore, swore about so something to consider but um yeah general rule of thumb just take it very very easily and nurse yourself back into it nice and slowly hopefully we're back to full capacity within the next few days so uh that's that so uh weekly update okay so it's been a good week um I think most weeks at the moment are pretty good. I am a little bit frantic as I'm desperate to get to week commencing 17th of August, which is the planning week based on my 12 week year to really start for the, the next quarter. I think the next quarter is we're going to hit some, some some really key milestones and we'll have more clarity. The issue with this 12 week uh, quarter that we've just we've just completed or, or nearly completed, or a week or so to go, a week or two to go, is that what started off with the goals, they changed. Now, normally this would never be the case in a 12-week year, but a lot of these ventures were just started at the beginning of this quarter. So, uh, inevitably, you're going to get some variation uh, until, until the business gets a little bit more settled, a bit more established. That it's when the goals then become more kind of robust. So, it's a little bit frantic because I've been pushing and pulling my team in different directions, which has stressed me out a little bit. I'm sure it stressed them out a bit, but I think the key thing is I've got my vision across and uh, that's the most important thing for me, is to be able to have everybody on the same page. Um, so I think they're bearing with me, but we're all gonna get together for the best part of the week. Obviously my remote team will be on video conference, but the UK based guys will all be together for the bulk of the week, doing all the planning. So that's really exciting. And that's uh, scheduled in for a week commencing 17th of August. So it's going through the opportunities for the ventures one by one, where we're up to. Um, the sale of my block of flats, um, it um, seems to be okay. We're trying to get it through by the middle of this month. Um, haven't exchanged contracts yet, so it's probably highly optimistic. But um, it hasn't really moved a lot, but there hasn't been any new objections appear in the last week. So, all by and by, I suppose no news is, is good news, I suppose, in this case. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll take that and move forward. Uh, the sale of the the peripheral portfolio, so the, the property stock that is outside my target patch that I want to use to clear down debt 
and uh, redemption fingers so that I have a, a much lower geared portfolio. Um, no new offers, but all of the existing sales seem to be progressing. So again, um, no news is good news on that side. It's when you get the objections that that's, that's the kind of bit when that kind of you know hits you, hits you in the face when, when you're trying to get something through. And you seem to get obstacle after obstacle. But um, so yeah, so I think that's all okay. Um, the existing portfolio um, in terms of the rental uplifts, capital tax liability, and uh, and uh, HMO exit plan. Um, well, my ops manager, who's been heavily focused on this, has been away for the last week on holiday. So it's um, it's stagnated a little bit, although I wouldn't say stagnated because my maintenance team have been all over getting some of the, the units ready for, for new influx of tenants. So uh, I would say an average week for that business. We still managed to keep things going when the ops manager hasn't been there, but she has been the key person project managing it. And I could jump in. Uh, I've got it all systemized to a degree, so I can, I can do that. But um, it's one of those where she's only away for a week, so we made a conscious decision to uh, to wait rather than have handovers and handovers back in a short space of time, which can also be quite disruptive. So, uh, yeah, so minor progress in that. So into the new ventures now. So that's all the old stuff. The new ventures. Okay, so where do we start? Property coaching business. Um, quite a lot of positive stuff's uh, been happening on, on that front in that I think we've got another client we're getting on average a sales call a day coming in from our our Facebook profile funnels and also the the group the Facebook group funnels that we've put in place this is all organic we're getting kind of five sales calls a day now they're not as hot as they possibly could be um, and what we'll be looking at is the conversion rate of these sales calls to whether we need to qualify them a bit more before they get to book a call with us but the, you know, the, the bottom line is, you know, a lot of businesses to get a, a warm sales call coming in every day without any marketing spend is uh, it's pretty impressive. Now, when I say no marketing spend, it's probably highly linked to the content that we're putting out on a daily basis. So there is obviously an indirect cost of the time it takes to do that, which needs to be taken into consideration. But there's no paid advertising, is what I mean by that. So that's really, really exciting. Um, we had a massive... <laughs> Not massive, massive investment from uh, from somebody like me who, who's conscious on value. Is there's a a guy I heard on the brand new podcast called Adila Marcy, and uh, he's a copywriting genius, and uh, he uh, he's indirectly worked with people like Tony Robbins on copywriting. So and he's got 750 million pounds worth of traceable sales based on his copy. So there's plenty of plenty of social proof there that hopefully he'll be. Be good. Now he knows the two business partners, Jack and uh, Chris, personally, and I'm building a relationship with them myself now. But as friends to us, he's given us a, uh, a, a good discount on what he normally charges 30 grand to produce a funnel for people. Crazy money, I know, but with the results he's had, he can justify that because that 30 grand, the return on investment is, is profound to say the least. I can't give you an exact figure because every funnel is different, but clearly has a track record of taking people's eyes. From landing pages, sales pages, opt-in pages, checkout pages, etc., to conversion, and uh, it's a real skill, it's really art. It's something that I hate doing. I understand it. I'm not very good at creative writing. That's other things. Jack, the business partner, he it needs to be more in his time because he's the KPI, but he hates doing it as well. So we've, we've taken the plunge and invested 10 grand into a deal. He's going to give us a massive discount, um, and he's going to work with us and. Well, it's in all of our funnels, so he's going to focus on the Property Empire Builder funnel first, which is the coaching business, and then he's going to help me with the with the Rompreneur social media agency funnel, which is uh, towards the back end of the year. So we should have these turnaround times eight to nine weeks to get that funnel completely copyrighted. That's all the emails as well, and it's also paid ads when we're ready. So it's the full shebang. There's no copy left unturned. It doesn't quite work well as most stone left unturned, but you get the point. So big investment there. Really excited to see what what comes to the table on that side of things. Uh, I'm not. I really think it's going to be perfect to reach it straight away, but he'll work with us on a long term to tweak and iterate to get the conversion levels that we want. Uh, we've got some new clarity on the coaching business. I think we've got seven or eight clients at the moment. We're going to get to 48 by the end of the year. We've got two coaches who are having really good track records in building their property empires with little or no money. So we've got those lined up to come in 
and coach at lower levels, uh, depending on people where people are at. And then what we'll do is we'll have Jack, who's kind of the high level, and then a couple of new coaches that we're bringing in, while we'll take him into the immediate, someone to take beginners. And uh, the goal then is to do two sessions a week of, uh, of um, a group of eight, and we want to have uh, 48 um, coaching clients by the end of the year. So, uh, and that will give us some revenue, excluding what we're doing with the lower end products and the higher end products. That'll give us some revenue of around 300k. So, uh, pretty exciting, and our overhead on that business is so low. So, really exciting. The next one is the Property Empire Investments. This is the new venture which came from the guaranteed leases working with the government agency. And, um, you know, that's uh, we've got two deals that we've sold already six grand a pop so we wanted 20 by middle of, of August we've got a really strong pipeline um, but there's been a lot of work on the systemization the processing side of it so we were going to bring in one virtual assistant so I've been through the recruitment process to bring somebody new in and uh, I have two really, really strong candidates that have come through the interview process and uh, it's been a quite a rigorous process in terms of you know they apply with their with their application form they then do a test task and then they do a video interview um, I'll talk you through my BA recruitment process in the future, but they're, they're two really strong candidates. And although I was going to have one full time post, I can't split them, so I'm potentially going to bring them both in on 20 hours a week um, and have two people rather than one. That's two normal people into the team and split themselves and see if I can I could build their roles. Because the other challenge I've got is that I'm moving other people within existing teams' roles around, and um, I also want to. Um, Put people in the right seats so people really want to do what they do and incentivize people and i'm also going through a process of splitting my fixed and variable income i'm trying to align it with fixed and variable costs so there will be some element of commission-based pay and pay as you go that i'm looking to introduce to the more variable based income so uh it's really exciting it's just lots of work lots of things going on so uh that's in place and they should be starting i think to, they were supposed to be starting today but i think it's going to push back to tomorrow um so that's really cool got another new member coming back he's been with me years and years ago and he's coming back into my property business um, to help out with the maintenance the property management side and um, he's, uh, he's gonna come back on a trial basis because he had some uh, issues when he was working previously with us not from a trust perspective or anything like that it's just that the, the way the business was and uh, the, the types of, of tenant demographic we were dealing with it was just a, a really challenging model for him to work with but we could since we've come away from the HMO exit plan he wants to come back and, uh, and do it on a part-time basis. So that's the third member of staff in the, the last week, and he's coming back on a trial basis from mid-August as well. So that's uh, really exciting. The team's really building. I think we've got a team of about nine people ready, so it'll probably be up to 12. Now, I'm very, very conscious of matching that income, that, that, sorry, that, that overhead to my income as well. So I'm not getting ahead of myself. And we're going through the profit process um, programme with Josh Keegan, and my new uh, amazing accountants that I'm delighted to be working with and uh, they're really getting to the nitty gritty so that we can start putting some real budgets in place and we want again, that gain that in place by the, the new 12 week year so that we've got a lot more clarity and focus on our numbers and then everything will be driven by the numbers. That's really, really important. So it's a little bit up in the air in terms of where we are in terms of the profitability wise, but that will become very, very clear over the next couple of weeks. So really, really exciting times on that front. Uh, the social media agency or Runpreneur vlog, I think we're up to about 12,000 followers now across all platforms. Uh, engagement's starting to get better on the weaker platforms. We've integrated some new hacks in terms of putting video captions and things in, uh, using hashtags on some of the other platforms, not just Instagram, and <laughs> really kind of getting to the, the depths of it. We're looking at possibly working with uh, Sam Rathbone as well, who's a LinkedIn queen, to help us with that. I'm focusing a bit on YouTube as well, so. All these things are just constant, just gradually push them along because there's so many, so much to learn. And like I say, we're not going to be anywhere near ready to launch the agency to the back end of the year when we'll be through this learning process and not just learning, but implementing and testing for results to see what works, what doesn't work so that when our clients get involved, they get the result they need. Morning. How you doing? Yeah, let's see about you. Um, funny when you do the same runs each week. It's the same people and what starts it's just a morning becomes a morning how are you the morning how are you not too bad you know the conversation extends each week so it's a uh, amusing that's the guy that i see most mondays so um but yeah so uh that's really exciting so things are 
lots of positive stuff has happened in the last this last week. But again, and still I see the result on the bottom line. Uh, I'm not getting ahead of myself. So uh, really exciting times. But um, like I say, there's a, there's a long way to go. I've also ordered my uh, you will laugh at this promotional running attire from Preneur. I've got a podcast episode coming up. You know, um, interview coming up in a, a week. I'm going on Josh Keegan's podcast. So I think that's on the 14th of August. So I thought I'm going to get my brand out there a bit more. So I've got my run Preneur running gear that's ordered. I've got vests. I've got running t-shirts. I've got normal working t-shirts. Or hoodies, I've got buffs or snoods, whatever they're called, headbands. I've got rain jackets as well, all in my brand code of orange, and uh, you know, slightly less in your face when I'm working. I'm going to be in. I've got some white ones as well, some white t-shirts as well. So that's all been ordered and should come in the next kind of week or so. So these videos will start being very, very consistent with how I look. Just for the record, I do have multiple of each type, so I won't be wearing the same one every day. In case you think I'm dirty, uh, I've got one for every day. So. There you go, just uh, something to get out there. So, uh, yeah, exciting times. Uh, really excited. Business Partner Jack's on a mastermind retreat this week as well, trying to get some new stuff for the business, mixing with some cool people. So, interesting to see what he comes back with really this week. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. So, as always, any questions on what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, question my decision making, please. Anything that people give feedback on what I'm saying, really, really keen to hear it. Constructive, we've always taken constructively because I'll get it wrong, I'll make loads of mistakes, and some of you will have more experience than me or will have done things that I'm about to embark on that could be a mistake. Anything you can help me with, please, fire away. As always, my guarantee is any comment, I will always respond. If it's a bigger question, I'll still respond, but I'll cover it in a larger blog episode and I will tag you in with my feedback so you'll hear that. If you think this is good value, please like and share it just to try and reach people or tag the people in you think we'll get value from it we be really appreciative and um if you don't like it please just feel free to either unfollow me or unfriend me if you're on other social channels you can subscribe to my channel or whatever as well very much appreciated and uh yeah as always stay positive stay happy and i'll speak to you tomorrow bye